Hi everybody, Dana Crawford, danaontheroad.com, and I'm going to leave my sunglasses on, so nothing, not to be rude or anything, but it is extremely bright, and when I wear my contacts, it really hurts my eyes, so I don't want to be squinting, but um, yeah, so I'm on the road, I'm on my way to a uh, client, pick up a client, she's been Gosh, I've been selling items for her on eBay for a couple of years now. And it's really interesting. I met her by going to her garage sale. So I, she was having a garage sale. Actually, Jimmy and I were together, and we went to this garage sale. And she had this stuff set out, and she was overpriced. And she had a little toy car that I really wanted. I love selling toys. It's really where I started on eBay was with Star Wars and Beanie Babies. And so I have a passion for toys. But anyhow, um, she had a little toy car, and I can't remember what it was. But she had $85 on it. And I thought can you believe this is a garage sale that has $85 on something? So I pulled out my iPhone, I looked it up, and on a good day, you know, you might get 40 bucks, and it, chances are there, it could go for 15. And so anyhow, I said to her, can I ask why you have this priced at $85? And she said, <clears throat> excuse me, she said, yeah, it's really old, and I just felt that it was worth it, and, uh, and I said, well, you know, it could be worth it, just depends, you know, where you're selling it at, but I said, I'll just be honest with you, I'm an eBay seller, and I look for things to resell, and I said, here, this, here's a good example, and I showed her right on my eBay mobile, and showed her um, the prices, and she was like, oh, wow, and I found one exactly like hers, and I said, so, you know, I would pay you no more than five dollars for it and you know hopefully I'll make a few bucks but seriously you're not going to get that kind of price in your yard sale so I said here's my card if you decide um, if it doesn't sell and you want to take it out for a spin and let me sell it for you on eBay then here's my card and give me a call and I charge 48% so whatever the item sells for you get 52% of the sale so that might be a better deal for you than me handing you five bucks so she we shook hands that was that I went on my merry way and then about a week later um, she called me and said yeah I'd like to contract with you so she said I have a lot of a lot of items so I said okay so she doesn't drive, so I went over to her house and um, spent a few hours getting to know her, and and then I took home. Usually when someone's new, I'll take home about, or they'll come to me usually, um, like 20 items, and just take it out for a spin, list some of their stuff, and then get to know each other, and then, because sometimes it's not a fit. Sometimes I send them to someone else. It's just, you know, they, some people think their items are worth millions, and they're not, and then they get mad at you because you didn't get millions on eBay. So that's the bad, the downfall about being a consignment seller, because um, I've lost a few friends being a consignment seller because they expected their item to go for a lot more money and then it's your fault when it doesn't. So I try to educate people up front on how to research and give them a realistic value of their item and then when they discover its value then call me and I'll sell it for you because most most of the people I know that I could sign for they could sell for themselves they just don't like to ship and they don't like to do the tedious work which I love it all so it works out it's a good marriage so this lovely lady um, I'm gonna go pick her up and we've become friends and now whenever she has items I come over and then we visit and we go to lunch so we take turns buying so it's her turn to buy this <laughs> So I'll take her to Red Lobster. No, I don't know where we'll go. We might go to Stella's Modern Pantry. She's never been there, so I thought maybe I'd treat, I'd recommend that. But of course, she's buying, so we can go wherever she wants. But, um, what was I gonna say? 
So it's kind of cool because we become friends. Oh, and she's got, she called because she's got some Fostoria glasses. And she said on replacements.com they were selling for um, like $125 a piece or $150 a piece or something. But she said she knows that they wouldn't go for that on eBay. And thank God she's a realistic person so many of these people look at re replacements and they think oh my god it's you know i can make all this money when the truth remains replacements has bought those for less than half the price and that's their up up sell so it's not a realistic resell price at all anyhow so i'm so happy because she's very educated and she understands how all this works It'd be cool if I had a big movie production or a big camera production could go with me to see these people because she has an awesome, awesome collection of items from all over the world. And she has really interesting stories too about all of her stuff. So she's been, I just sold, remember the Emperor's jacket that I sold a couple weeks ago? That was hers. So she's been, um, it's funny how you just meet people and you connect and that's what it's all about. So, I guess I'll talk to you later. I guess um, after I have lunch with her, I need to go grocery shopping, which I absolutely hate, hate to do. <laughs> but it's got to be done. So, we're in the shade. Oh, see, it's so bright. It kills my eyes. All right, until next time, we'll see you later today, maybe. I'm Dana Crawford, and this is DanaOnTheRoad.com.